Hi everyone, I'm Emily Michael for Frostburg State University. Um, I'm sure you've all heard about the block party that's tonight on Main Street from 6 to 10 p.m. However, there's another event happening. It's on Saturday. Um, it's called A Taste of the City, Frostburg 101. I'm here with Jessica Palumbo and Diana Iman. I'm Jessica Palumbo, Main Street Manager for Frostburg. I'm Diana Iman. I own Funky Repurps and also part of Carter Roque Real Estate on Main Street. Um, they're just going to tell us a little bit about this event. So Jessica, would you mind telling us how the event works? So the event's going to work. Um, students will start off on campus. There are three locations for Safe Ride Pickup. Um, first is at Annapolis Hall. The other one is at Brady Health parking, uh, parking Lot. And the other is at Edgewood Commons. Um, students will be shuttled up to, to Main Street um, to the Parish Hall parking lot behind St. Michael Church Courtyard. Um, they will come through to the registration table uh, in the courtyard of St. Michael's Church, um, where they will pick up their passport, and uh, the first 400 students will get a free swag bag. Um, and then, so with the passport, and after they sign in, uh, they will venture, there's a map within the passport, um, all of the specials will be listed, and students will go to these businesses. Um, at each business, there will be a stamp stop um, to qualify for the grand prize second prize and third prize. There will be different amounts of stops um, for each business. Um, so you will stamp your passport and come back uh, and turn those in at the end. Um, the grand prize, if you go to all the stops indicated, uh, is an Insta360 nano camera um, to take 360 photos uh, on Facebook uh, with your iPhone. Second place prize will be a uh, choice between Amazon Prime or Netflix subscription for a year. And third place prizes, there will be multiple um, different gift certificates to businesses around Frostburg. And what are some of the special offers from the local businesses? So some of the special offers, like a place to eat, will be giving away uh, free pork sliders. Um, a lot of different stores will have um, giveaway. Fun Funky Repurps is doing 10% off um, and free giveaways. I know the Palace Theater is going to raffle off tickets um, to their fall uh, movie series. Um, so there's all kinds and you can view them online. Uh, so there's about 25 participating businesses and locations. Um, some of them are restaurants, some of them are retail and others are points of interest. Um, so different like landmarks that we want students to be familiar with. All right, thank you. Um, Diana, would you mind telling me what you are most excited about? Well, I think the opportunity, um, as many locals know, I just opened my business. So the opportunity to have the students come in, I think that they'll be pleasantly surprised mm -hmm. to find a shop that kind of has a little bit of everything, little funky stuff, um, little shabby chic. So if they want their dorm rooms or their apartments to look extra nice, then we've got the place for them. The other wonderful thing is in the past couple of years, we've had a lot of amazing new businesses that has actually opened here in Frostburg. So this is the opportunity for all of us to say to the students, walk on up, come see us, see what all we have to offer and what kind of amazing giveaways you're gonna find that day. And of course the grand prizes that Jessica was talking about. Thank you. And why do you want FSU students to attend? I think it's very important for us to go back to building up that strong liaison between the townspeople and the um, university, and I think this is an amazing way for students to do this. Um, and talking over this past weekend with somebody that actually came into the shop, uh, she's, we were talking about the event, and she said, you know, that first walk up the hill is hard for those students because they're just not really sure, and hopefully this will help them get past that first walk and then the opportunity to come up and really feel comfortable browsing. It'll give the opportunity for the business owners to make a little bit more one-on-one -on -one contact with the students. Definitely, thank you. Um, so for both of you, what kind of relationship do you want FSU students to have with these local businesses? Well, um, you know, uh, as was said by Diana, um, we hope that they can build these uh, partnerships and relationships. Uh, it's, you know, a lot of students are coming in from bigger cities and bigger towns, and. Uh, I would just like them to take advantage of this small community, the mom and pop shops that are on Main Street. Um, and you do have the ability to, to build those one-on-one -on -one connections because business owners remember you. And um, so I, I would like them to, to know that and recognize that and build those relationships. Awesome. And the other opportunity I think too, as we have seen, is there's been a lot of students that have fallen in love with our area 
and they've not really been sure what they can do. And this gives them the opportunity to see that you can become an entrepreneur, you can open your own business. It's a time for a different twist on mom and pop stores. I think it'll give them the opportunity to see that as well. Awesome, thank you. Well, I hope all of you guys take full advantage of this awesome opportunity as a student um, to attend this event. It is student only, so bring your ID and make sure to get involved on Saturday.